All right, I want to check in with meteorologist Samara Kokinos, who's pinpointing a warm Easter Sunday. Samara? Yeah, it's definitely going to be a very warm Easter Sunday. It was a beautiful day today. We got up to 84 degrees. Now temperatures are falling through the upper 70s to the mid 70s by about 9 o'clock tonight. So your grill and chill forecast looks good, but if you plan on having dinner outdoors, just plan on having something weighted out there because it is still going to be fairly breezy all night long with those winds gusting up near 20 miles per hour. Here is the sunset view from our launch camera out at the port tonight. Check that out. Isn't that stunning? Absolutely beautiful golden sunset officially coming up at 749 tonight. 74 degrees out at the port with that east to southeast wind at 11 miles per hour. And as we take a look here, temperatures were primarily in the upper 70s to mid 80s today. But looking at the wind speeds, that's really going to be a key factor in this forecast as it continues to ramp up tonight going into tomorrow. You notice all that blue and all that green contour here on the map that shows elevated wind speeds anywhere between about 15 and up to 20 miles per hour, even 25 miles per hour closer to the coast. That is going to help usher in some lower level moisture, making it more humid. It's also going to help bring in some warmer temperatures and notice that this wind stay elevated all the way and really cranks up by Monday. So don't just be prepared for that wind to really be around pretty much for the rest of the weekend and into the start of the next week. But as we look at the setup, here is where a lot of the severe weather is. It is all across uh, the central most portion of the United States, but then going back into Texas is really where the focus is tonight. And you can see just outside Dallas in that yellow area is a tornado watch. That small little speck there in furthermost south, south and west there in Oklahoma, there's a little red mark where that really heavy cell is rolling through right now, and that's where the tornado warning is. Back here in central Florida, we're just seeing some clouds move in in the upper levels of the atmosphere, and I think that's pretty much all we're going to deal with. Even at this as the system moves toward the east, we're really just going to see the wind crank up and help usher in that moisture. And by tomorrow evening, I think we could see a few sprinkles of rain, maybe even a rumble of thunder, but really, most of Central Florida is going to see a dry Easter, and it looks like by Monday we could see, again, a few more showers on the way, but your rain chances stay at 30% for tomorrow and Monday. It's not until Tuesday where we see 40% there on the map. So for tonight, your overnight lows stay in the mid to upper 60s, low 70s, closer to the coast, Cocoa Beach and Melbourne, maybe even Leesburg could stay at about 71 tonight. The closer you are to the water, the warmer it's going to be. Here's a look at tomorrow. As I take you hour by hour, it warms up fast. We're at 84 degrees and very windy, high of 90. Here's a look at your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. And as we head into Monday, here we go, 91 degrees and that 30% chance of rain. We'll stay at 40% chance for rain for Tuesday. We're at 90, but then we fall to about 88 midweek and we'll go back down to the lower 80s Thursday and Friday. So it looks like a little bit of an unsettled upcoming week. But Eric, but we definitely need the rain. Yeah, a little bit of everything mm -hmm. for everybody. Yeah. Samara, thank you.